नमस्कार मैं सीए मनमोहन जिंदल फ्रॉम मुंबई रजिस्टर्ड वैल्यू इन इंस्टिट्यूट इन फाइनेंशियल एसेट्स सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट वैल्यूइंग ए बिजनेस ओन्ड बाय द फैमिली इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग सो ए प्रोफेशनल हु इज हैविंग द नेसेसरी नॉलेज एक्सपीरियंस एंड रिसोर्सेस to provide an accurate and reliable valuation should take up the valuation and the need is expertise in valuing the family business the valuation is conducted using most appropriate methods and taking it account the relevant factors so when you should use multiple valuation methods relying on a single valuation method may not provide the most accurate representation of the family business value so it is a good practice to use multiple valuation method such as market income asset based approach to cross check and validate the assets so all the three valuation approaches should be used for valuing the family business so you should take the long term outlook so when valuing a family business it is important to consider the long term outlook of the company and its industry because family business are running generation to generation they are not mean to just share the profit and shut down the business but they are carrying the business for the next generations so short term fluctuations in financial performance or market conditions can be misleading and may not accurately reflect the true value of the business however taking a long term perspective can help to account for these fluctuations provide a more accurate assessment of the company potential for growth and the profit so value should be done by taking a long term look now value should as far as possible spend time in communication with the family members effective communication among family members is very very crucial during the valuation process family member should also be transparent about their expectations everybody is having a more expectation from the business and objectives as well as any concerns or issue that may arise during the process open communication may minimize misunderstandings conflicts and ensure that all family members are on the same page regarding the valuation and its implication for the businesses so communication is very effective tool in having a decision of a estimate of a value of that family business now common challenges kya hai iske andar bhai challenges to hai because it is a complex structure of the family business which is make the valuation as also a complex so lack of transparency and information family business often face a lack of transparency and information on can make the valuation process more check sometime it will uh, seem that Uh, now the government of india has liberalized the accounting system and uh, accounting year also but in the earlier days and in family uh, some will start from the diwali some will start from the dashera some from year to year so this information is also unstructured the family business so now it is going to regulate by the regulator financial records may be incomplete or outdated making it difficult to assess the company's true financial performance on disposition so sometime family business are uh, taking the old structures of accounting 
and they are not using the computer era or they are not having the so technology uh, assessing companies so the incomplete and outdated data is possible in the preliminary on business such as in the three tier two tier cities reliance is on the professional evaluator how better he may obtain the necessary information and provide a accurate information so now the role of the evaluator is very very important that how far is just made it correct into the evaluation emotional attachment to the business so generally family members have a strong emotional attachment to their business which can make it difficult objectively assess its value so sometime every person see that i am the number one i have a number one sale i have a number one connections but however into the market into this computer era into the technological era the same is not there so emotional attachment can be unrealistic expectation about the company's worth resulting in conflicts and disagreement with the valuation process so it is very important for the family members to recognize and address these emotional attachments and work together to achieve a fair and objective valuation family dynamics and conflicts so it is another part that family dynamics and conflicts conflicts can significantly impact the valuation process conflicting of interest personal biases differing expectations among the family members can make it challenging to reach a consensus of the business. one is saying that the value is 100 and that is saying the 50 or so many conflicts are there however now valuer has to make it possible that keeping all the circumstances he may in a position to estimate a fair value of the business to minimize the impact of these conflicts family members should communicate openly and honestly seek professional help and strive to maintain a focus on the best interest of the business so communication is important coordination is very important and samanvi is very important humbleness is very important less greed on is very important so bottom line is that family business valuation is a complex and essential process that helps business owners understand the worth of their company and may inform decisions about its future these are several methods for valuing a family business including market income and asset basis so we know that the there are the three approaches commonly used in every valuation so factors such as revenue profitability cash flow assets liabilities management team market competition industry trend should be considered during the valuation process so common challenges such as transparency and information emotional attachment to the business or family dynamic and conflicts discussed above should be acknowledged and addressed to ensure a fair and accurate valuation so family business valuation refers to the process of determining the economic value of business owned and operated by the family members so this value is critical for various reasons such as estate planning succession planning tax purposes potential sale and merger of the acquisition so there are several methods to value a family business each with its own set of considerations and limitations the choice of methods on the specific circumstances of the business and the objective of the valuation regardless the method chosen the goal is to provide an objective and comprehensive understanding of the business 
कोई सा भी मेथड चूज करें कोई सी भी आप अप्रोच चूज करें कोई सा भी तरीका चूज करें अल्टीमेट वैल्यूएशन शुड बी एक्यूरेट नियर रियल सो नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ फैमिली बिजनेस वैल्यूएशन मेथड वी शेल डिस्कस दी मेथड्स एंड अप्रोचेस दी नेक्स्ट तो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार